we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, some baseline through a 12 bar blues before in part one you might want to check that out and make it easier as you're working through this but in part one we played a walking baseline through a 12 bar blues we're going to take the same chord progression four bars of A, two bars of D, two bars of A, one bar of D E I mean one bar of D, one bar of A and one bar of E but now we're going to do some rock and roll straight eighths kind of thing so it's still the walking baseline but, baseline, but now we're going to double it up so our walking baseline went like this in A Open A, 4th fret on the A, 2nd fret on the uh, D, and 4th fret on D. So now we're going to play each note twice with alternate picking, so we're going to go. So that's the figure for A. Same thing, if I move it down to D, we're going to start, now we're going to start on this string right here. So we're going to start on D, same thing, open D, 4th fret on the D, 2nd fret on the G, and then 4th fret on G, and we'll play that one twice. And then with the E was the open E string, 4th fret on the E, twice, 2nd fret on the A, twice. So it's the exact, so it's the exact, exact same thing. All right, so now let's take a look at um, the 12 bar blues, as you know, is eight bars, I'm oh, sorry, four bars of A, two bars of D, and it's 12 bars long, right? Uh, two bars of A, one bar of E, one bar of D, one bar of A, one bar of E. So we're going to take that bass line and we're going to put it through uh, with those eighth notes, straight eighth notes. So it's going to sound like this. Okay, I'm sorry. One, two, three, and four, and. So I'm doing A, two bars. D, two bars. Back to A, two bars. different here. We're going to do the same eighth notes, but now we're going to make them short, so we're going to go. Now what I'm doing there is I'm playing that A string and I'm stopping it with my left hand. Some people stop with the right hand, I stop with my left. So, And I play the fourth fret, and I play it, and I just lift it up quickly. So we have then I go to the 2nd fret, play that note, and lift it up quickly, and the 4th fret. Play it and lift it up. So this is we're playing staccato 8 note, driving 8 rock and roll 8 notes. So no. And you can vary it how much you want to. You can make some longer than the other. So I went longer on the open D. And back to A. I'm going to slow that down a bit, so... So I just keep everything short. It takes a bit of time, but it's possible to do. Down to D.
that's another way of playing those eighth notes, and you can just have fun with that. Next one is we're going to do with a shuffle. Now, a shuffle is you have three, uh, it's based on a triplet, okay? And the way you count it is you count a triplet, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and. Uh. Now, what they do is they tie the first and the second triplet. So we count one and a two and a, but we just play the one and the ah. So it's going to go one and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four, uh, one and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a. Uh, okay, and that's how we want our our basic, you know, shuffle again. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to show you how to do it with the right hand. So I'll just do an A string. So I just go one and two and three and so one and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a. Uh, Closer for you. So I got one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh. okay. Now so let's put that excuse me through the twelve bar blues in the key of A. So it's going to go. Difference, so I'll play the straight eight notes. One, two, three, four. There's your straight eights. Play it four times. Now I'm going to break it into a shuffle. Bit of a lilt to on, on the uh, eight notes. Try that shuffle through 12 bar blues again A four times, D twice, A twice, E once, D once, A twice, and E once. So we're one and two and three and go. And there's A four times, D twice. staccato shuffle eight so now, so I'm doing the same thing I did with the eight straight eight notes so I'm just stopping the string quickly
my left hand. You can stop with your right, but most of the time I stop with my left. I can stop it with my right by doing going like this, by the way. That's that's just another. So I can go like that and go. So I go. So I stop it on the next one. with the right hand stop. Now I'm doing a combination now. When I do the fret of note, I have to stop it with my left hand, right? But when I'm doing the open string, I'm stopping with my right hand. So it's good to learn both. Stop with the right hand for the open string, and stop it with also learn to stop with your left hand. And then you have a, a, a better understanding of how you know you want to have as many different ways of learning how to play as possible. Anyways, I hope you have. A, I hope that works uh, works out for you. Have any questions? Uh, don't be scared to comment. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.